Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing okay today. And today I have another guest. It's my beautiful friend, Ella. Ella, introduce yourself. I've already introduced her. It's weird okay. to say introduce yourself. Let me just introduce myself. Hello, okay. everyone. My name is Osai Imanara Nicole. Okay. I'm a proud mom of two as well. Okay. Yes. I just gave birth some months ago. So yes. My son is four months she's close. a hot mama, as yeah. you can see. My son is four months close and I have a almost five year old daughter. She's yeah. She's five and two months. Yeah, yeah, that's my girl. So, in today's video, I just want us to talk about, to share our opinion on some issues that has either trended one time or it's still trending or it's just something people talk about often and you know i kind of like her opinion on things so i decided to bring her on this episode so we'll talk about you know so that i'll get to know her own opinion on these particular topics and the first thing i would want us to talk about is are you of the opinion that um marriage is an achievement i know some people say it's not an achievement it's just getting married getting my wife some people say oh no it's an achievement what is your own opinion on okay, it? Okay, for me, marriage is not an achievement. Okay. But I, for one, I'm one person that marriage has really, really got me my way, right? Yeah. Like, before I got married, I was a makeup party, I was a makeup model and a photography model. Okay. Lots of top makeup um, brands. brands used to use my face for shoots. Yeah. So I used to get lots of credit alerts. Mm -hmm. But when I got married, I added weight, pregnancy came almost immediately, I gave birth to it, I kind of, my life kind of like took a turn, it yeah. took a degree turn. Okay. So I could not do my photography modeling, I could not do my makeup modeling, so it kind of had a negative impact on me. Okay. Like I was not getting financially, uh, I was not getting my money the way I used to, so I was not <laughs> yeah. happy. Yeah, okay, so when, that was, when I really got married and had my baby, it really mm. took it negative impact on my had made it. since marriage can be an achievement yeah. because as a ladies that I know it's like all they want in this world is to, to get, get married. married they yeah. wake up every day wanting a man to just come and marry them so for that kind of person marriage, marriage can be an achievement yeah. so but it's not like you regret being married no, you I just know that it's, it's not married. yeah it just that it kind of like slows my way to success but I know that after my kids get to a reasonable age uh, all those money I think I lost then yes. I'm going to get it even yes, better yes yes well, I like the fact that your own opinion is that marriage is not an achievement. Because yeah. in my own opinion, marriage is an achievement. Okay, okay. And not in the achievement of, oh, I have gotten married, I have arrived. No. I believe marriage is an achievement because I, for me, because I feel like getting married was a goal. Mm -hmm. Like I had a list or I have a list of things I want to achieve. Mm -hmm. The word achieve. Yeah. Being a graduate was one of it. Getting married, having kids, raising amazing, successful, kind-hearted children is on the list. Um, having my master's degree was on the list. Having a PhD, you know, I have a list of things I want mm -hmm. to achieve. Mm -hmm. And marriage is there. So the fact that I have achieved that one, it's an achievement okay. for me. I'm not saying it's the most important thing on my list. Mm -hmm. For some people, like she said, it is the most important thing on their yeah. own list. Mm -hmm. And I won't judge them. It's who they are. It's what they've yeah. chosen to be. But marriage is not the most important thing on my list. It's just one of the things that I had to write on my list because I need to achieve it. I want to raise my children in that, you know, traditional home setting, okay. father, mother. So I needed father now. And even though, yes, I can get pregnant without getting mm -hmm. married, but I wanted the traditional way. So getting married was a goal for me. <laughs> okay, so I think you've kind of explained this one, why you decided to be a stay-home mom, but I feel like okay, you can, yes, still, go can still go further. Why did you decide, yeah. okay, because there are people that are working on and raising their children. Mm -hmm. They are doing both out yeah. every day, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., they come back late and all. But you decided to, okay, let me work from home and raise my kids. Mm -hmm. Why did you make that decision? Okay, I decided to work from home because I just wanted to keep an eye on my daughter at the time. I had just one child there. Mm -hmm. I don't, I've seen so many um, scenarios online where I hear domestic staff beat up children and I could not just put my daughter in that kind, kind of, of situation. situation. So I decided to stay home, I can do business while I'm working from home. So that's why I opted for makeup. But I still realized that the makeup was taking me out. Yeah. And traveling to different states. I was getting calls from different states. I decided to stay home and then switch. From makeup, I started selling human hair and then started doing fashion design. And I could design my clothes from home. Yes, yeah. yes. So this whole idea of 
domestic stuff training your children they will mm. not train your child the you way want you to. want exactly yeah. you exactly. put your eyes alert on your kids you yeah. be able to correct them yeah when they're going astray or going doing the wrong thing you tell yes. them mm-hmm. yes. so that's why it's nice to stay at home yeah that's yeah. the same reason for me i remember one of my uncle told me told my okay he didn't even tell my husband and he told me and said i should pass the message along to my husband when he found out i was pregnant that this one that because then, then he knew i had a nine to five and my husband everybody knows my husband is always busy now yeah. so he called and he was like hope we're not going to allow a stranger raise our kids that he's inspired and impressed by how hard we both work but someone has to slow down yes, yes. and raise the child so he's not saying it must be me he's not saying it must be my mm-hmm. husband but someone has to slow down we yeah. can't both be running out of the house sure, sure. first thing in the morning every day now that you know a child is involved and even before we had that conversation, it was already something my husband and I decided that, okay, when I do get pregnant, there'll be a stage I'll get to have to quit my nine to five because, like she said, we want to be the one to raise our... And I think a lot of mothers are going for that these yes, days, yes. especially since we can now work from home. From home. Just stay home. Re- I don't mind. If I'm going to have five children, if I'm going to have ten children, I'm ready to stay home. No matter how small the money I'm making from home is, to just stay home and raise my... I just want to be present for 100%. This one is not that I, I leave the house by 8 a.m., come back by 4 p.m. And people that are doing it, truth is that I give them credit. Like, I don't know how they live with the mom guilt. We all experience mom guilt. Just to go out and braid my hair and come back, <laughs> I feel guilty that I've left her for hours. So people that do it every day, they are so strong emotionally. Like, I cannot even handle it. That's the truth. Like when I come back, after I leave her for a while, when I come back, you see me hugging her, kissing her. Oh, I missed you. How are you? If she's not interested, if she's playing, I'll be like, I you that this girl is angry with me and things like that. So people that do it, I'm not condemning them. They're actually really strong. But yeah, for me, I think I chose to stay home just so that I'll be 100% present. I'll be the one to, you know, everything I want her to learn. I don't want to put the responsibility on someone else because they might not do it as I want it. So that is why I decided to be stay home. Yeah. Though. Yep. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is what role do you think is more important, being a mom or being a wife? Hmm. That's a very serious question. <laughs> yes. Because I can't really say that being a wife is more important than being a mother. They're both important. Yeah. Okay, no one is more important than the other. Being a wife is important to the wife, to the husband and to the wife. Mm-hmm. Then the relationship of being a mother mm-hmm. is important to be um, the mother, the child and even the husband. Yes. Because if the wife is not there, the husband cannot take the 100% role of the mother yes. of the children. So yes. I cannot say this one is more important, they are both important. Yes. Yeah, the kind of duties or roles you play to your husband is different from what you play Exactly, exactly. Yeah, she is as if she just took words out of my mouth. The roles are completely different. So I don't think it's fair to compare because a father and a husband are two different things. So a mother and a wife too are completely two different things. You can you can not be a great mother and be a bad mom and you know, I mean a great mother and be a bad wife and say, Oh, I'm too busy taking care of the children, that's why I'm no, the roles are completely different. So you just have to find a balance, you know, just to play both roles as in your best or the best yes. way you can yeah. and all that so yeah um how do you feel about if for some reason now you need to go on a trip let's say you need to go on a vacation let me make you something enjoyment you okay. need to go on a vacation okay. and you cannot take your children with you <laughs> are you going to take the offer okay. as you leave your children with your help or no. anybody and travel if the vacation is i and my husband yes I can leave them with my help, but I will call my mother, I will call his mother, <laughs> I will call my sister, <laughs> so it will be complete. And then I will come home with me, my oh, husband. Okay. But because I cannot leave my children for a domestic staff when no other relative is, is, there is around. I, yeah. I can't. I can't. Yeah. I'm not able to sleep. My heart is just inch. I cannot do this. No <laughs> need. Uh, but what if your husband is staying? What if maybe it's like a girl's trip? You're going with your friends. Okay. Your husband is going to be around. Will you leave your husband with your children and your help? No, I won't. Because <laughs> I have trust issues. I don't know. There's just something about me. I don't trust people. Hey, God, no. So I am not alone. Husband, <laughs> if my husband is going to be at home, I will not leave my child or my children for him and my house of home. Mm-hmm. I will still call my mother okay. and my husband's mother okay. and my sister's. <laughs> <laughs> so it will be complete. So everybody will have an eye on it. This, you have an eye on this person and have an eye on it. Uh, yes, yes. yes. I think it's almost the same thing for me. Like Right now, it's only my mom and my mother-in-law I can leave my child with okay. and travel. 
I cannot even, even without help, I cannot leave my child with my husband. And this is why. <laughs> my husband treats Nora, a 16-month-old, like she's five. <laughs> Seriously, he, he always treats her older than her age. Mm. And I just feel like, not out of carelessness, but out of overconfidence that, you know, she's mature, mm. or she's a fast thinker, mm. or she can handle this thing. He would, you know, neglect some things and she might end up getting wounded. Like, even when he's baiting her, I ca I'm always there because it's either he's, I just feel like he's doing something wrong, like soap will enter her eyes or he will allow her play with water too long. She'll stay inside water too long. She'll get cold, you know, just all those kind of things. So for peace of mind, even if I'm traveling without my husband, either my mother or her or my mother-in-law, that's her grandmother, will come and stay with her. I'm not going to just leave her alone with him. Then it's the same thing if both of us are traveling. But the truth is, at this age she is, if I want to leave her anywhere with anyone, I'll still prefer to leave her in this house that she's used to. Used to. Yes, I feel like taking her to a different place might just... Because she's already used to things here. She knows where some certain things are. Uh -huh. So to now take her to a different mm -hmm. place, now I prefer for them to come yeah. here and stay with her than taking her there. Mm -hmm. Then another thing I want to talk about is this popular saying, your money is our money, my money is my money. What's your take on that? Hey God, that was a very funny one. Okay. My husband knows that his money is our money, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, my money is my money, but I will still do some things. And that's how I've been doing it. Okay. And that's how we even say it. And Judy, when are we expecting that money? <laughs> Is it when we're talking about it, but it's our own? Yeah, so his money is our money, but my money is for me, but I can still. Yes, yes. What am I using my money for? It's exactly, still for family exactly. and my kids, and I can call him with some gifts or surprises. So yes, get yes. I think when people hear that my money is my money thing, they just think you're being selfish, selfish but I don't no. think that's the case. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Even men that don't want to accept that saying. That's what they live no, by. Yeah. Like you will not see them interested in your money the way you are interested in their money. Yeah, it's just yeah. a natural thing for them. So technically, they are also agreeing to the yes, saying that yes. your money is your money, and and it's not as if you know, you, as a good wife, you now you need something in the house and now be hiding your money. No, no you bring out the money when it needs money. to be spent. Mm -hmm. But yes, I feel like as a man, they walk, they go out and work every day with that notion that I need to take care of my family. Yeah. I need to pay my children's school fees. I need to pay house rent or whatever. I need to invest for my family. They're just thinking my family, my family, my family, mm -hmm. which is a very good thing. And as ladies, not in a stingy way, when we work, I think we're thinking about ourselves and our children and not the children of school fees is so that I can throw a birthday party yes, for my child yes. so that I can do this, so that I can do that. Can so do the money is basically not our own money it's, for it's still for the family for but you know not in ways that the man is also thinking yeah. and so because of that when people now say that oh you're being women you're being selfish you're being not this it's our money the truth is that is even the men that are saying it if they sit down and think in their subconsciousness that is how they are they are also wired. My yeah. money is for the entire family. Amazing. This woman's money is for herself. Yeah. Apart from the fact that some people are only saying it because they don't want the woman's problem. But that's the truth. Yeah. Some are like, okay, the money is your money. Mm -hmm. And that is why your husband will come to you and say they need a loan. Yeah. But you will not go to your husband and say he need a loan. It's mm -hmm. I need money. Mm -hmm. But he will come to you and say he needs a loan. Yeah. Because yeah. he's also thinking that way, even yeah. without you putting it in his head. Mm -hmm. They also think that way. So yeah, that's how that is my own opinion yeah. your money is our money, money my money is my money. money you know the last thing i have here is what do you wish you knew before you became a mother you knew or you did okay let's start with something you wish you knew before you became a mom i, don't know, I think i was telling something i wish i did okay, okay something you wish you did okay something i wish i, I did before i became a mom mm -hmm. was setting up and strengthening my businesses or different streams of income, okay? Because I feel, and I'm, I'm very certain that it's better for you to have built um, previous streams of income yeah. that is already functioning than to set up a new one. Yeah. Like that's why I've started this process, you are in it, mm. then to set up a new one. Yes. Setting up a new one is more cumbersome yes. being a mom yes. and then being a wife. Yeah. So I feel I would have had businesses going before marriage well yeah. i'm not regretting though i'm yeah. still i'm already married so i'll just still continue yeah. but i just feel that i'll have had more money and more businesses going mm. before marriage mm. because it's not easy being a wife 
and you are just they're not doing anything uh, of being uh, a mother you're not doing anything you're not doing anything for one person to give you money uh, i keep saying this to your husband one million naira and your one million naira is it's not, not the same, same. exactly it's not the way you use the one million that you use your husband for yes you plan yes. your own difference with yes. everybody if you know you are not married and you are watching this fixing video <laughs> please define marriage start arranging yourself think of what to do to give you money yes yeah, because it's good to be financially independent as yes. a human being yes yes. yes 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 yeah i think it's almost the same for me like what's something i wish i did before i got married before i became a mom especially is to have that steady source of income that does not involve me going out and the truth is i think it's because right from time i always looked away from business i always felt oh mm-hmm. business is not my thing business yeah. is not my thing i think that's what caused it because even when i was still even in my early 20s i did not know that i would ever leave my nine to five mm-hmm. because of being a mom so starting a business is not something i ever mm-hmm. thought of i was so i'm so i'm still so in love with nine to five that's the truth i like structure i like that mm-hmm. orderliness or that routine i'm obsessed with routine anything that is not okay. it messes with my head that's why mm-hmm. the other day i was telling you i went to somewhere chaotic and so oh, disturbing yeah, my yeah. head i like routine mm-hmm. so i'm still big on nine to five mm-hmm. and that is why i avoided business you know when they say you wake up anytime you know it's just <laughs> to me it's just scattered but if i knew what i know now i would have started a business before a well-structured business even before getting married so that mm-hmm. now that i'm a mom and i'm staying home it will still be yeah, making yeah, money yeah. for me mm-hmm. and all that unlike this one that i started when i already became a mom mm-hmm. and you know i can't go to some places there are some people that have delivered frame too i've never seen them before mm-hmm. i'll have to now come and beg my husband which i pay him for mm-hmm. come and beg my husband to go and help me do delivery to go and help me do mm-hmm. pick up and all those things so mm-hmm. it makes it really difficult there are some people that would want to see me just the fact that they cannot see me they are no longer interested and things like that so yeah i think that's something i know i would have um you know done before yeah. um getting married yeah. or becoming a mom so guys this has brought me to the end of our video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something and like yeah. she said please if you're not yet married set yourself up properly first no matter how small make sure there's a steady income that you make or that you're making before you get married so that once you get married and kids start coming it will just keep flowing mm-hmm. and all that and i wish you good luck i hope you marry someone you know good and worth it because some men will just come and block that source for you because mm-hmm. he wants you to be completely dependent on them so guys thank you so much for watching yeah. please stay safe i know the cases are rising every day so guys please stay safe wash your hands wear your face mask and see you in my next video bye